Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio and last episode we managed to scrape out a 4-3 win against Baton Rouge who, well, they're not great. That whole 0-0-6 record definitely indicates that. But it moved us up to 2-1-3 and, and we're still in 9th place and now we've got a chance to go even higher in our game against Boise today. Boise's been a team we've had a lot of trouble with in the past though, mainly because of Bowers here. So hopefully we can still, we can generate something because another win would be critical. One of the things though that should benefit us is that Calvert. Calvert is back. But before we get into the game, I got some things to do here. First off is checking our training. Now, it was pointed out to me that O'Donnell probably could use a little more control. So changing accuracy to control on there would be helpful. Now, looking at the other ones, I think Hodges is good to still work on defense. Same with... I, th I think defense is still the best thing for these, these folk. Uh, and pass it. I think it's... Pretty good. I think O'Donnell changing to control is the only one that really, I think, is crucial here. Roman could perhaps switch to something else to train, but I really want that strong passing skill. Especially in a game like today's game, when we've got uh, the defending midfielder to get past. Now, O'Keefe is going to be back at one more match. Very excited to have him back. Energy-wise, Olsen and O'Donnell, we might have to bring in Fry, and we do still have Tompkins suspended, so Thornton is going to remain in the starting lineup for a little longer. Now let's take a look at us relatives there, because I don't really want Thornton to be in a vulnerable position when it comes to stuff here. I'm not sure how I really want to set this up. I don't want Joyce to just be able to go in however he wants. But Latham and Wilburn is our Wilburn are also problems. His control is very low. I think we're gonna keep Thornton in that position. And that should be good. Okay. Yeah. And Thacker, Olsen, and O'Donnell are all decently tired. We'll see how they're feeling during the game. Oh, I didn't even check where Thacker was for this. Okay. I'm thinking it might make sense to have Thacker on... on the edge and have Roman because we can't get him, unfortunately, the ball to begin with, but he does have the higher passing, so moving him out of position may still be the best bet. Yeah, and trying to get it to Calvert. They do have a sweeper as well, but we've managed to get past them in the past. Here we go. Manchester versus Boise. Can we keep up the momentum we had from last time and break this streak of losing at home and winning or tying on the road. It's been a very strange streak. The lofted pass does get to Calvert. Calvert will break off here. Slack is a very good goalkeeper. And Mott has level 3 head play, which is difficult to get past, as is getting a break in. Our break-ins have not been working well at all recently. And Benedict gets the ball. Benedict passes to Ziegler. Ziegler tries a lofted pass to Latham that actually got pretty close, but Thornton thankfully headed it away. And now Wilburn has the ball. Scherer is going to go for the tackle, isn't able to take it. And that is unfortunate here. Thacker is going to move then closer in. And now they're probably going straight 
Nope, they're going over to Latham. Latham's coming up. And the pass to Latham goes. And now what's he going to do? He's going to go for the shot, and it's saved by Hodges. Out of bounds. They have a corner kick. And they've set Pollard to put it in. Latham and Wilburn. So Shader will take his usual position in front of the box. Then we've got Dickinson, who will help out in the back. As will Thornton, who actually has the third best control of all our players, all our defenders. But Shader easily takes position, so that should handle any of that. And the pass, oh, wasn't even going to Shader. So Joyce instead is just going to move back. And now we've got a bit of a situation, but Doss manages to take it away. Now, our highest control, oh, we've got to deal with that again. We're going to do the lofted pass towards O'Donnell. So they're going to have to bring over someone to take it. They're going to bring up Benedict. Benedict will hold this one. Thacker will move up. He's going to press Benedict, and we'll see if O'Donnell can take it away. No, he cannot. And we've got a whole slew of players there. I might move Scruggs up to have them caught off sides if they come here. But Gibbons is just going to hold this one. I think we're going to put Scruggs up to catch them off sides if possible. And Olsen takes the ball from Gibbons. Olsen. We go for the shot. And that's what he's going to do, and it's knocked off by Gibbons. Mott gets the ball. Moves up. And he is he now going to hold it? Yes, he is. Olsen and O'Donnell move up. O'Donnell goes for the tackle unsuccessfully. What will Mott do with it now? What... <laughs> What can Boise do with four of their players behind our line entirely? Bowers just moves up and holds it. We're just going to move up with Doss now. And Doss does manage to take it away. Good pass to... And we'll pass to Calvert now. Can they take it away? Wisniewski can't. Will Ziegler try next? Yes, he will, and he does manage to take it. But Calvert's motivated. And they're bringing up Latham. Thank you. Oh, the aggressive tackle has gotten us in trouble before, but we're still going to go for it. Calvert is able to take it. He moves off to the side. And is going to go for the precision shot and scores at the end of the half to give Manchester the lead. Welcome back, Calvert. It's good to have you here. Now, they controlled 77% of possession. That is insane. And we still managed to be the one winning this game. Okay. I don't know if there's a particular thing I want to do. I might I might just put Thacker in the way of Pollard for this possession. Just in case. And here we go. Boise now has to try and get back in this. Joyce. That's the ball. Moves off to the side. And is he gonna go for the shot? Yes he is, and Scruggs kicks it to Doss. Doss will pass to Roman. Roman will do a lofted pass to Calvert, which goes to Wisniewski instead. And Calvert goes for the tackle and is able to take it away. 
Uh, and Benedict takes it right back from Calvert. Benedict passes to Ziegler. Ziegler moves past Roman easily. And I guess it's Thacker's turn to come over and try and prevent him from getting it. He almost took the ball. I'm surprised he came that close. And he does get past Thacker as well. What's Ziegler going to do with it now? He's going to pass to Joyce, and Joyce goes for the shot again, and it's no better than before. Scruggs kicks it away. Long pass gets Roman up. Wisniewski is. We can do the false kick. That's not going to help things. Roman's going to go for the unlikely pass, and it goes off. Actually, that would have been out of. That would have been off sides anyway. Eh. And Ziegler's pass goes straight to Dickinson. What's Latham going to do with it now? He's going for the tackle and does manage to take it away. Dickinson uh, could go for... He's going to just go for the regular tackle. Is able to take it away. I was worried on that one. Uh, and now he's going to move off to the side and just gonna hold this one and try and keep it away from Latham. Latham comes up, goes for the tackle, and he does manage to take it away. Latham goes for the shot, and thankfully it's saved by Hodges. That was closer than I would like. Shitter. Go in front. Dickinson goes in back, and Scruggs will also help him back. Will they still go for Joyce, though, is the question. No, they're going to try the pass in. It doesn't succeed. Going straight to Shatter. Now, can Wilburn take it away? No, he cannot, and Shatter has the ball. And Joyce intercepts the pass. And Doss isn't able to take it away. We may have set up a bad situation now. And Roman can't get there in time. This is not good. Joyce with the ball. Moves off to the side. Is he going straight for the shot or is he going to... He gives it to Latham. Latham goes for the shot. And it's saved by Hodges. What a critical save. And that moves everyone out of the box. Scruggs. He'll do the pass to Thacker. And Thacker is just going to hold this one. Okay, keep it away from Bowers though. Or Wilburn in this case. Wilburn goes for the slide tackle, and that is a foul. He tries to pass it to O'Donnell. O'Donnell isn't able to get it, but he moves over and is just going to hold this one, and we're going to try and run out the clock on this game. Bowers coming over. Bowers manages to take it from O'Donnell, and Benedict will move off to the side, so O'Donnell goes for the tackle, manages to take it away, could go for that, instead O'Donnell's just going to try the break-in, he gets by one, can he get by Mott? Yes, he can, and he's fouled in the box. That is a penalty. Here we go. To end the game, which, which spot are we going for? Can we get our goal differential a little better? That's basically what, what this one is. Okay, let me get the dice. 
And the roll is six, so we are going lower right corner. And it is a goal! Two nothing Manchester is your ending score. Calvert scoring the precision shot and the penalty kick for a nice win, despite Boise controlling 62% of possession. I think this is our first time beating Boise as well. Another solid, solid victory. Uh, Calvert, well-deserved. Hodges, also well-deserved. Scruggs did a good job as well, for the most part. We got some more progress in. No one upgrading today, but we got... Fair amount of gold, some glory, and fans from this one. Let's take a look at what other people did. Little Rock beat Byron Rouge 3 to 1. Anchorage crushed Billings 7 to 1. Augusta upset Louisville 3 to 2. Topeka beat Montpelier 3 to 1. And Newark beat Hartford 3 to 1. So that places us up to 7th place, only a point behind Louisville now. We have started moving up. And we got to keep this momentum. We got four teams. Four teams with 15 points there. And then Newark with 14. It's going to be quite the race for the promotion spots in the league. Let's take a look at the league leaders. Portillo had four goals. Okay, and Lombardi has 19 goals on the season. How does that even work for Hartford? Assists-wise, there's there we've got a player. we got Roman, who has three assists. Tackles, we've got no one. In the top 10 for tackles. That's surprising. Saves. Hodges got three more today to get him up to six. But we haven't had a lot of leaders so far. Let's take a look at what this is. The transfer window will be closing tomorrow. So if we want any of these players. And believe me, I was considering Croft potentially. But if we want them, we got to grab them now. Osborne is an interesting one. He hasn't played at all for Louisville. He's 28, level 15. He's an amateur midfielder. But midfield is our, our least deep position at the moment. Tompkins is still out. Uh, so Thacker... We might... We might keep Thornton in for another game for defensive purposes, but who are we playing next? We are playing Hartford, and Hartford has a really good offense they've shown, uh, but an even better midfield. That midfield is, well, it's going to be hard to get around. But we've shown that we can really play now. For two straight games, we've we put in solid efforts on offense and then on defense. So I hope you'll join me next time as we try and make it three straight wins in Manchester's attempt to turn around this season. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Comment below anything about this. Um, what do you think about potentially grabbing Osborne for the low cost of... 2,590 gold. I'm really considering it. He is only 28, and we've got O'Keefe and Roman aren't young. So, let me know on that front, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, and happy gaming.